Hi, my name is Caleb Perkins, and today I'm being baptized to show the world um, and publicly display my love for God and tell a little bit about what He's done in my life. Um, obviously, as a younger kid, my interpretation of who God was was vastly different than it is now. Um, like a lot of teenagers, I was a very lost soul. I'm just trying to figure out who I was um, individually, in addition to the mission of figuring out who God was and the role that He was going to play in my life. When I was a junior in high school, I was at track practice, and after my third time going around the track, I went into full sudden cardiac arrest and I collapsed in front of pretty much my whole school. And uh, I woke up out of a medically induced coma two days later uh, with a pretty different life ahead of me. I lost my scholarship to play football. Uh, I was also medically uh, disqualified from joining the Marine Corps. Um, and those were two things that I saw being my future. That was my plan for myself. I was like, if God's not gonna give me something that I can't handle like all these people say, I wanna see what he has in store for me. Uh, so I started actively pursuing him more, uh, kind of putting the food and the friends and the worldly things aside and focusing on God and who he was and what he had in store for me. Uh, even from there, it was a very rocky road into my um, late teens, early 20s. I've always been someone that has had to learn things the hard way and uh, you know harsh lessons for a hard-headed individual um, and then it all kind of came together when I was 22 and my friends that had motorcycles decided you know what it's gonna be warm tomorrow morning why don't we take our bikes to work uh, and we pulled up to a stoplight and when the light changed um, obviously all the cars took off and at some point um, I don't remember any of this but I was hit on my motorcycle um, I was thrown off of it and I wrapped myself around the light pole and it, uh, it took out my legs uh, my left one a little more severely. I was then, um, I actually lost the lower part of my left leg. So I mean, all my ribs on my right side are now metal. Uh, my right leg was also destroyed and barely pieced back together. Um, but when I woke up out of a two week coma and I was surrounded by my friends and family, it really put things into perspective. And I won't lie, uh, for the first couple of months, six months, uh, I was in a really, really dark place um, for obvious reasons. But my mistake was I blamed God and uh, I was like, why have you given me something I can't handle? Um, I cursed his name. I didn't realize that behind the scenes this whole time, he had already sent me the biggest blessing I've ever been given. Without the support of specifically my wife and my family and my friends and God's overwhelming love, um, I, like I said, I don't know that we'd be here having this conversation today. Um, and it took a while for me to accept um, the new reality that was my life and I uh, spent a lot of time just praying and at first it was just praying because I thought I should and then it became, I started getting little messages like I'd be, I'd be deep in prayer and I'd just get overwhelming emotions that would just flood my body and just bawling my eyes out and I, I'm like, God, I feel you. Uh, thank you for not letting this be the end of my story. And I went from cursing his name to thanking him. All things considered, this is a beautiful life. And if anyone could have even a glimpse of the experience um, with God that I've had, it's life-changing, it really is. And when I tell you that giving up your life to God is the single most powerful thing you can do in this lifetime, it, it changed me. And it, bring, it brings chills to my body and tears to my eyes, but I'm ready to show God in the world uh, why I'm here, who I'm here for, and uh, I'm excited for the journey that's ahead. Caleb. Because you're a profession of faith in the Lord Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. You got it, old boy. Love you. Hey, pray real quick. Do you guys bow your head and pray with me? Ah, oh, dear God, just thank you for Caleb. Thank you, Lord, for the way in which you loved him and you knew him from the day he was born, before he was born even, Lord. You crafted him and formed him. Thank you, Lord, for the man that he is and the man he strived to become, Lord. But really, the man that he understands the only way he can become who you created him to be is in you and you alone. So, Lord, thank you for the transformation you've done in his life. And, Lord, he's been some, through some very difficult things. And Lord, we know in this world it is not promised it's going to be easy. Lord, I thank you, Lord, that even through it all, he's drawn near to you, Lord, in the way in which you're using him. I pray, Lord, you help him as he leads his family. Lord, that you keep his eyes fixed on you and be like you, Lord. 
and then slowly transform himself and other people. Lord, you are a great God. Thank you for all you've done for this young man and the way you used him, Lord, to um, in his story, um, to encourage us all to fix our eyes on you, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks, buddy. Good job.